fast sharks, surprise sea snakes, and shrimp that pack quite the punch. Back to the ocean with me, Taylor McWaters. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 dark discoveries deep sea divers don't want you to see. Fun fact, there's 17 Ds in that sentence. Let's, let's do it. Kicking off the list at number 10. Let's dive in. Ooh, Barracuda. Exploring the deep is dangerous if you're a diver, of course, not because of the deadly ocean life surrounding your every direction, but because if you come up too quickly, major health problems will follow. But if not that, probably a deadly barracuda. Equally as scary. This deep discovery was made by user Arira95. I'm pulling real events for this one from real deep sea divers. We're going to the real content for this one, so buckle up. One time when my parents visited Mexico, they went diving and my mom was slightly lower than my dad looking at the ocean floor. My mom had on a gold necklace that was floating in the water around her and it was a sunny day and a fairly shallow dive at this point, so it was sparkling. My mom looked below at all the critters when my dad grabbed her and started frantically shaking her arm to get her attention. I'm sweating reading this. She looked up and a barracuda was directly in front of her staring intently at that shiny necklace. She slowly moved up her hand to cover the necklace and they slowly and calmly moved away from it and it took off without bothering them anymore. But still pretty unsettling and taught my mom to be a little more aware of her surroundings when she's diving. I mean, fair, but I mean, no one expects a barracuda. Also, if your mom wants to dive with chains on, that's pretty sick. You won't catch her slacking. Even in the depths of the sea, she's like, I'm ready. I don't care who shows up. I don't care who I bump into. Water shoes and bling. Check and check. Let's go diving. Number nine, venomous sea snakes. Last year in the deep waters off Australia's coast, of course it's Australia, always Australia, a sea snake that was once thought to be extinct has been rediscovered. How fun. He's like, ah, psych, you thought. Just when you thought the ocean couldn't get even more dangerous, now we got new sea snakes to worry about. The short-nosed sea snake hasn't been seen in 23 years, and they would often live near Ashmore Reef. But last year, divers found one 67 meters below the surface in the twilight zone, which is pretty wild. Just lurking in the dark, just hanging out, meditating. The Australian Institute of Marine Science is responsible for this discovery, and the team calls this a second chance to protect and further understand the species. And an up-close personal encounter is brought to life from this diver. Apparently, this happens from time to time before major storms. Snakes can sense an oncoming storm, so what they try and do is latch onto something heading in the direction towards shore. So they don't have to burn energy and they can just grab onto like a barrel or something and then just, you know, make its way there. Pretty smart. So this diver was exploring, nothing was going crazy or anything like that, and then he felt a snake wrap onto his leg because he felt a storm was coming in. The diver didn't even know that a storm was coming. The snake did, and he wrapped its snake self around his leg. As soon as I was in the shallows, it uncurled and headed up the beach where it hid under a breadfruit tree. That was from a diver named Specialist Celery. Great name, also terrifying experience. I don't like snakes in water or on land. Next, number eight, surprise tiger shark. Yeah, not something you wanna see diving in the deep, a tiger shark. A glowing shark, left shark, I don't care. I want none of the shark smoke. This deep sea discovery comes from user Stormcutter Sick name, a little bit better of a diver name. They say, I know a guy who was out diving for crayfish and lobster by the ocean. Also, the I know a guy trick, it was totally you. Don't lie to us. Crayfish often hide under the rocks, so as he was diving, a tiger shark emerged from a cave and rammed him, breaking his arm and ribs. <laughs> this guy got shucked by a shark, that's insane. He said the shark was testing him out. Yeah, I'd say. That's pretty sweet, man. I'm glad you survived, honestly. I bet you couldn't wait to tell people what happened. You're like, oh, my ribs? Yeah, I got sideswiped by a tiger shark. Yeah, he's feeling testy, you know how tiger sharks do. If you're wondering what that experience may have looked like, uh, this is footage of a rare tiger shark in New Zealand lurking in the deep. Number seven, Humpback Mama. This deep dive happened about a year ago. A diver named Sidetrack38, that's their username, not their legal name, although that would be pretty sweet. Sidetrack38, he's like, what's up? They were exploring the ocean one afternoon when all of a sudden they got charged by a mother humpback whale. The divers shared their experience online, saying, her curious calf had swam around us and we were between her and the calf. Two of us never even saw her coming. We were watching the baby, but our third diver, saw her come. She kicked down and swam under us last minute. We didn't see anything until that 60 foot freight train passed just underneath us. Whales are beautiful. They're beautiful but terrifying creatures, my friend. Glad you didn't get a broken rib or back in this case because whales, they like to go pretty deep. Just a view. Just trying to figure us Incredible. out. Incredible. Yeah, this is amazing. Justin, you want the reds off? <laughs> Look at that view. I hope we're getting screen captures of this. Number six, Mako Shark. 
Macro sharks are one of the fastest sharks in the world. I'll start by saying that. Just get that fact in your head. Given this list so far, I would also start sweating if I were you. This is a scary one. This deep dive horror story comes from username One Dumb Diver. Great name. They clearly made this account just to share this occasion. So let's dive in. Nowadays, we dive with shark shields, which emit electronic pulses that freak the sharks out and keep them away. But back then, what we used was essentially a chainmail sleeve. The idea being that sharks hate the taste of metal, so if you give it your arm, it'll bite down, decide you're gross, and then move along. So I wait, it comes over, and I make a perfect move to give it my arm. However, just before the crunch, the crunch, it occurred to me that I had left my sleeve on my bed. Now I had a huge open gashing wound on my arm from the bite in open water and I trailed blood everywhere. Not an ideal scenario. So once the shock finally wore off, you realize that you're in salt water and salt and open wounds, they don't feel good. In a panic, I dropped my weight belt and shot up to the surface without any sort of waiting period. Not great. Because I hadn't been paying attention to the currents, I was approximately a quarter mile downstream of my boat, which meant that I had to swim back up to it. After getting bitten by a shark, imagine having to swim, that is a nightmare scenario. Glad you're okay. Also, you're not a dumb diver. You're just, you're experiencing the things. You're figuring it out. You're doing great. You're brave. I don't even like going in lakes. Number five, more sea snakes. Coming from Patrick667, about a year ago as well, they posted, so three days ago, I went snorkeling off Mimba Island in Zanzibar. Everything went normal and we started heading back. So I grabbed my net and I put my black fins, my black mask, snorkel and black wetsuit inside. Once back ashore, I grab my bag, jump off the boat and head to the rental office to return said equipment. At that point, I feel my bag is moving somehow. At first look, it seemed like a flat black worm squirming quickly. After rotating the bag, I realized I was looking at only the tail of a one meter long black sea snake, one of the most venomous reptiles ever, trying to get out of the net, like in the lobby. How it got there, I have no freaking clue. That is a nightmare scenario. Imagine being like, thanks so much, I had a great time. Here's a sand dollar. <laughs> also, don't mind the venomous snake. Number four, the frilled shark. Back in 2004, marine biologists discovered this dinosaur, the frilled shark, just hanging out, just lurking about 870 meters below the surface. So if you're anywhere around there, watch out. This one looks like an eel almost. It's so scary looking, so slippery and quick. Frilled sharks can grow up to seven feet long and they fight in the dark. They don't need to see to attack you, which is pretty terrifying considering all these deep dive stories are all in the pitch black. So unless you're a deep diver, you're not really gonna run into the frilled shark. Have you ever dealt with one of these? Are you a diver? Are you watching this because you're a diver? Please comment down below if you are. Comment some of your personal experiences. These were a nightmare to read. I couldn't even finish half of them. Everything is so dangerous and so fast underwater. Number three, snapping shrimp. This little guy can literally create a sonic boom as it attacks you, that's how fast it is. You won't see him coming, and neither did this diver. Here's a clip of a mantis shrimp punching through a diver's gear. Yeah, right through their water shoes. Bam! Ah. Ow, that really hurt. They're so quick, oh my God, they're tiny, but they, they really hit. They're often found in coral reefs, oyster reefs, these little guys, these pistol shrimp, they hit their prey at 100 kilometers per hour. And in doing so, a large air bubble is created and because this you know, Mike Tyson shrimp is so quick with the left hook, the following pop is around 200 decibels. The sound alone can stun its prey and if they're lucky, it sometimes kills them. That's how you wanna go out. You don't wanna go out with one of these Superman punches to the neck. Number two, comb stars. Ocean life is by far the scariest thing out there. We have no idea what's in our oceans. We discover some crazy shit every year. Some deep sea fish with bioluminescence are for sure aliens, while others are just natural predators. That looks scary. Like the comb star, for example. This guy was not in Finding Nemo. He would have been a weird addition. A comb star is a starfish that contains tetrodoxin, which is this deadly neurotoxin that can cause paralysis. Yeah, Finding Nemo, that movie would be over in eight minutes if this guy was there. Per every gram of comb star flesh, there's enough toxin to take out 500 mice. So if you have a mice problem, Honestly, you can call one guy. It's a very specific weird call, but I know how you can do it. A little bit of textrodoxin. Tetrodoxin? Tecrodoxin. That's what it's called. And finally, coming in at number one, the electric eel. Awesome. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Great. The moray eel, first of all, don't do what he just did. Don't go up to a random eel 
and start rubbing it like it's a genie lamp. That's not smart. It's not a great dame. You don't want to do that. That was the moray eel. That one can bite your fingers off in like two seconds. But you should never touch an eel in the first place because a lot of them are electric. Yeah, just like that MGMT song that's now stuck in our heads. As its name suggests, there's types of eels that can mess you up even if you were to get the first hit. Specifically, the newly discovered two and a half meter Electrophorus volti. Appropriately named after Alessandro Volta, AKA the guy who invented the battery, this eel can release a shock up to 860 volts, which is more than seven times the voltage of a wall plug. A swimming wall plug that gets hungry. Nice, we love nature. I'm never swimming again. Guys, those are the top 10 dark discoveries deep sea divers don't want you to see. So many D letters in that title. I've been your host, Taylor Douglas McWaters, and I'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Peace.